Hey everybody, this is Zan Barksdale, and I'm excited to announce the release of my new software called Never Miss a Sign. It can be found at nevermissasign.com. This software generates the wristbands that have become very popular in college, high school, and travel baseball, and it can be used for offense or defense, and allows coaches to give signals to players through a three or four digit number sequence. It's the only software of its kind that is hosted on the internet as a web application. So, what that means for you is that you can use this software with a Mac or PC, or even your smartphone. All you need is an internet connection. It can be used on an unlimited number of computers, and costs about half the price of our competitors. It also comes with a lifetime license, which means there aren't ever any renewal fees. So, once you purchase it, you will never be charged again. Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how it works. I've already got a membership, so I'm going to click Log In at the top of the screen. I'm going to enter my email address and then my password and click log in. This will take me to the generate page uh, which is going to allow me to generate some wristbands. The first thing I'll do is I'll name the wristband that I want to generate and for today I'll call this demonstration and I'll choose the color. All the wristbands can be color coded. You can choose from a number of different colors. I'll choose red for this. You can choose how many sets you want. Uh, the default is set to one, but you can choose up to 10 sets with the same code. And then the default values for the wristband is going to be FBA for fastball away. You can add as many different values or fields as you like by clicking the green plus sign beside uh, the fastball away field. So for the next field, I'm going to have my value be FBI for fastball in. Then I'm going to add another one because our pitcher throws a curveball. Oops, CB for curveball. And then I'm going to add another one because we also have a slider. Oops, excuse me. SL for slider. Slider over here. Uh, we're also going to put change up which will be CH and you can obviously have any value or any sign you want in here you can you can choose exactly what you want I'm going to add a pitch out for pitch out I'll call that PO and I'll add pitch out now I don't want as many pitch outs on the card as I do fastballs away or fastballs in so if I want less values I'm going to move this slider over here to the left I don't want my card filled up with pitch outs I only want a few of them on the card, so I'll move the slider uh, over here to the left, which means that I want less of them on the card. I can also add, uh, let's do one more sign. Let's, let's have a pickoff uh, to first. So I'm going to call that PK1, which means pickoff to first base. Once I'm done with that, I don't want a whole lot of pickoffs either, so I'm going to move the slider down here. Then I'll click Submit. That will take me to the Manage page, which shows all the wristbands that I've generated uh, in my account. Demonstration, that's the one I just made. I'm going to click Open. And then the default size is 3 inches by 5 inches. I can change the, the catcher's card or the player's card to whatever size I like to fit the wristbands easily by simply changing these numbers. So I'll go ahead and click Download, which is going to download the player's card. That will pop up. I'm going to resize this screen to make it a little bit easier to see for you. And then I will zoom in, which will also make it a little bit easier to see on your screen. So you can see where it has slider, fastball away, curveball, fastball in, all the different codes. And what you would do with this is you would cut it out and you would put it in your player's wristband. Uh, I recommend laminating it before because a lot of players will sweat and the, the numbers could fade if it's just on paper, but if you laminate it, it seems to work great. So if I have my player's card here, I want my coach's card. So I'm going to go back to Never Miss a Sign. I'm going to click on Download Coach Version, which will bring up a similar page, but this is going to be the code for uh, the coaches. Again, I'll zoom in so it's easier for you to see and you can see all my codes up here that I entered and then here are the number sequences so if I want a fastball away uh, I have these different values to choose from if I want a slider I can choose from any of these values notice we didn't enter very many uh, pitch outs or pickoffs so these two columns both have fewer numbers 
Then let's say I want to choose a curveball. I want my catcher to throw a curveball. I'll look at any one of these values. We'll say 215. I'll go back to my sheet over here. I'll go to 2 1 on the, the rows, and I'll go 5 on the column. And here's my curveball. That's how he can uh, relay that sign. It can be used for anything, it can be used for hit and runs, or it can be used for bunts. Any signal you choose if you want to use it for offense. Again, all the cards that I've, that I've managed uh, are in the Manage tab. Everything is saved right here, so if I ever want to reference it for a future date or print off the same card that I've made before, uh, I can do that right here. Again, this is Never Miss a Sign software. It's the only software of its kind because it allows you to generate these wristbands over the Internet. You don't have to have any other software. You don't have to have Microsoft Excel. You can use a Mac, um, and it's very, it's very, very valuable.